He doing that. Hmm. Yell all you want. Man. It changes nothing. <laughs> Will you be quiet? No one's going to help you. <laughs> oh, well, all you want. Is there a reason for his nonsense? You need something? <laughs> Will you be quiet? Well, that one's going to help you. Help! I need help! You've no reason. I'll get you! Chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. This is an ill omen. Who could have done such a thing? <laughs> Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out the spear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the you other. You can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break these legs, both of them. I am so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? They say you can walk now. Impressive. Go on, beggar. So long. Almost forgot how. Wonderful. I don't understand. Why 
did you help me? Because Mogwa has wood. He's awake. It's you. And how does it feel to be whole again? I don't know how you did it. <laughs> it wasn't easy, I assure you. You fought hard at first. Most do. But now it's done. The hard parts pass. I owe you my life. I'm yours to command. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Thank you for letting me. <laughs> dream calls to me but before I close my eyes I must know what will become of my children you mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments they'll be free now to return to their homes homes what homes the sewers the portals the prisons that we dragged them from you took these people against their will yes what little will there was for them to have are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wins? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah, uh, then you'd answer for his birth. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which it stole from us. My progress was slow, but there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe.
News, Altai. Janier is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did. Yours is not to ask, but act, Altai. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Sylvan. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Devin. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. He's always yelling at you. It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life. So if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. <sighs> it was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job. God, yes. The worst part is I knew them. One guy... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. What the hell? Someone's been in here.
some kind of access code.